Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Cubear with FluDrew.net. This is, of course, the Heroic Alphys Encounter in the Bastion of Twilight. I was actually uh, really reluctant to put a video of this up. Uh, so many guilds have been farming this for so long that I kind of, I don't know, figured wasting data space and stuff, putting this together would probably go to waste really at this point. However, I am tanking for this fight, so I figured it'd be good to, you know, get everybody in there and just show you uh, what bear tanks are capable of as far as, you know, filling in that swing tank role. Uh, here I am wearing full DPS gear, uh, gems, reforges, enchants, trinkets, everything set up for my cat. Uh, and, you know, it's, once you get to the point where your guild is killing this every week, you really don't need tank gear tanks to to main tank for health is. Uh, things you want to watch out here are the malevolent strikes. Basically, as that stacks to 7, you just want to handle it with a simple little tank switch. As you release the nether scion, uh, his cast bar will become uh, much slower, and you'll actually be able to interrupt the shadow novas. So make sure you have two, di uh, two DPS designated to get that every time. Or an enhancement shaman, a shaman of any spec that specs into the uh, improved shot can get that. As well as... Uh, Time Warden's going to slow down those proto-behemoth fire uh, balls that you see, leaving that red glyph on the ground, so just make sure that you're not taking that. As a bear, uh, really the best way to maximize your damage here, and do ignore my recount, because it's currently set to overall data, so the, the meter you see there is very skewed. However, uh, now with 4.1 out, the swipe 3 second cooldown, uh, swipe ability, swipe ability is how uh, we maintain max damage here with so many so many dragons, adds, the whelps, everything on the table. So basically what I'll be doing here is you'll see me just mangle swipe, then thrash swipe, and then mangle will be coming off cooldown, and you just maintain that rotation while everything's up. And then, of course, you know, as everything starts to die, you can go back to, you know, single target threat rotation. Uh, definitely, if you are doing this like me in full DPS gear, you do want to watch your threat as you do your tank switches. Uh, DPS gear is very powerful for threat generation, and you definitely don't want to be ripping aggro back and getting your mid-level stacks too high. Again, um, this fight's very, very simple. Uh, if your guild's not currently uh, clearing hard modes, your guild just happens to be stuck, you know, 9 out of 12 normal or something like that, you could actually probably kill this boss. Uh, it's definitely probably easier than her, her normal Nef and normal Chogo. So the gear that you can get from here should be enough to help, you know, get the kills on those last couple normal bosses you need if, if you're not quite there yet. You know, as a cat, definitely uh, the way to handle this if you're lucky enough to DPS and are not on interrupt duties is why everything's out at the front there. You pretty much just swipe spam until you're left with uh, two targets. I mean, that's pretty much the way to maximize damage if, you know, you're running 10 man or something like that. You probably need to do your best to single target just to burn down the, the targets as quickly as possible. However, if you are trying to rank, you really, really just want to maximize your swipe while everything's still up on the table. As you get uh, interrupted here with Furious Roar, uh, keep in mind that if there is a glyph of a fireball spawning underneath you, you can actually move uh, between the ticks of the stun. That's a good way to handle that. But like I said, very easy fight, not much to discuss here. Uh, this is Q Bear with FluDrew.net. Appreciate you guys watching. Take care.